Hello, my name is Joe Laird. I'm a licensed professional counselor and welcome to Wait TV. Today I'll be talking about COVID-19 with a message of hope and faith. I bring you good news. The coronavirus are a large family of viruses that causes illnesses ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, and Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, MERS. Coronaviruses are extremely common causes of colds and other upper respiratory infections. Common signs of infection include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. In more severe cases, infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. The illness causes lung lesions and pneumonia, but milder cases may resemble the flu or a bad cold, making detection difficult. The good news is that we've experienced viruses in the past that are far more lethal than COVID-19. I want you to know that all is well and this too shall pass. You should not have a spirit of fear during this time but be encouraged. What can we do to protect ourselves and others from COVID-19? The following actions can help prevent the spread of COVID-19 as well as other coronaviruses and influenza. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home if you feel sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaning spray or wipe. Wash your hands often with soap and water at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating, and before blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not readily available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol covering all surfaces of your hands and rubbing them together until they feel dry. Be encouraged and know that these trials and temptations were created to test your faith. This is a good time that we're in right now. Cause see, once this is over with, you'll be stronger than you were before. Use this time wisely to get closer to God by reading his word, meditating and prayer and talking to him cultivate your relationship. In times like these, we have God's word to lean on, and that's the good news. We're called to walk by faith and not by sight. That means you can't always believe what you hear or what you see, but you have to learn to trust in him and stop leaning on what you think, your own understanding. God said that if his people who are called by his name would humble his, themselves and pray, that he will heal our land. So let's take this time to pray and ask God to heal our land. He said that he would never leave us nor forsake us and that we should not have a spirit of fear. Fear not for he is with us. Those are words that we can lean on. Walking by faith and not by sight. That means we must keep our eyes stayed on him, right? And not on the issue. Because when you put your mind on the issue of what's going on around us, you could be terrified, full of anxiety and full of fear, rushing to the store, trying to buy the store out. Walk by faith and not by sight. What does that mean? That means I need to keep my mind stayed on him and not on the issue. Because the issue is going to cause me to become frantic. If we keep our mind stayed on him, we'll have that perfect peace. This is learning how to trust him, put things in his hand, because truth is, there's nothing you can do. It's outside of your, your expertise. And so if you could stop the coronavirus, you would have already. Focus on the things that you can do, right? Like exercising, drinking plenty of water. You can, now that you don't have to run off to work, you can spend 40 to 45 minutes at home, running in place, doing crunches, doing push-ups, doing setups, you know, lifting some weights, 
some type of uh, physical activity. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Drink plenty of fluids, right? And if you're going to eat meat, make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Remember, this too shall pass. Use your time wisely. Before you know it, in a couple of months, it'll be all over with. And so we can proceed on with life as normal, as usual. But again, use your time to spend with family and friends and learning how to forgive and spending time meditating and developing a plan for your future. As you know, that's all I have for right now. But if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put it in the comment section down below. Also, if you'd like to make a donation, please donate to Cash App Money Sign Lord Laird. That's all I have. Use your time wisely because you may not get that time back. Have a blessed day.